Hey y'all, Creechboo from Drop Dead Ink again. Um, so I did an earlier video about how to really set liners and shaders with coil machines and I hear a lot of people <laughs> on here especially talking about the gap as they refer to it. Um, and what they usually talk about is the gap between um, the uh, front spring and your contact screw. And I just want to show you guys because that theory is completely incorrect. Um, so I just kind of wanted to prove it to you. So when I, I, I just put some new springs on this so it might sound a little raspy. You know, you can see they're obviously not bent any really completely weird way or anything. Um, so when I pull this front spring forward, there's barely any gap in there at all. Now, of course, if I were going to do it like this I could force that gap to be a nickel width you know what I mean but when I actually just pull this armature bar forward I'm trying to do this with one hand so bear with me you can see there's almost nothing in there not even a dime width and yeah <clears throat> when you watch that needle traveling back and forth if I can get a good view of that Well, that's got, needless to say, that's got some serious travel on it. I mean, you're talking about probably a four or five millimeter, if anything. So anyway, needless to say, this is a little proof right there that the gap in that, it ultimately matters how much your needle travels back and forth. So when you get your machines running right, I mean, I've been doing this for 27 years. Um... Yeah, that's running really nice. I mean, like I say, this is a, like a serious, this is always my, pretty much my color packer all the time anyway. Um, and another thing you guys can do, um, just a little trick, um, in between your front and your rear spring, like, you know, how you always have your washer um, there. Of course, it's got my O-ring. You can also slip a washer in between your front spring and your back spring, and it gives it a little bit more torque on, on besides your O-ring too. Um, so just a little hint, you know, a little trick of the trade, I guess. So you can, yeah, just slip another little washer in between there. I don't know, you know, maybe that might affect my gap per se. Sometimes it works out that, it, you know, it is about a nickel width, other times not. But ultimately it's how your machine runs. So don't always depend on if you put a set of springs on and you're, you screw your contact screw up so it's either a dime or nickel that that's your liner and shader because it can be completely different with different frames, different springs, you know, if you bend your spring a little bit too much. But if ultimately, if you get your machines running nice and this is running really nice, um, the, yeah, you know what I mean? That gap up there really doesn't matter. It's ultimate, it's the gap you're looking for is... A, when this is traveling back and forth, if you were to hold, and I did another video on this, you guys can check out, um, like how to set liners and shaders for real or something, I think I, I titled it, but like, it was, so I can definitely slip a nickel when this is running back and forth, and it's really hard to see with black armature bars especially, but if I can slip a nickel when that's traveling back and forth, it looks like two armature bars, so if I hold a nickel to the side of that, in between what looks like two armature bars moving, if that nickel in there, that's the gap you're looking for. It has little to nothing to do with the, how far, um, you know, your contact screw is to your front spring. So that's like one of the most sacred secrets of tattooing that a lot of people on this don't seem to address. Um, but that's really what, it, you know, I mean, ultimately you can turn that one way or another and get it a nickel or a dime and have that not traveling the way it's supposed to be and you know it's not gonna matter so um it's fun to like give you a little visual proof and like i say again just by pulling this forward you can clearly see there's almost nothing in there for a gap not even a dime but when this is actually traveling back and forth i mean i'm talking right now you know four four millimeter plus anyway so yeah anyway thinking see ya